Hello everybody. I wanted to show a little bit of an update on my Bretonium project that I've been working on. Just finished up a, another unit. Um, these are again for 5th edition Warhammer Fantasy. These were uh, these are all metal sculpts um, that were done by the Perry Brothers back in the 90's and um, they're the men at arms with halberdiers and it's all the three different poses uh, not counting the command that they had and I, I managed to get them all uh, in about an even variety to make an interesting unit. I um, I had one pack that I would bought back in the day, a pack of two that were brand new that I opened up for the first time um, 20 some years later. And so they're in there but the rest of them uh, picked up off of eBay not in the last year and a half or so because the prices have really gone through the roof but um, two three years ago I was kind of getting serious about trying to finish up my collection on these and they were still fairly reasonable priced and um, I would just uh, you know just watch eBay pretty regularly um, and I'd pick up you know an auction and have you know two or four or five at a time um, some of them were missing their bases uh, uh, almost all of them did not have their shields and then um, some of them were primed and some of them had uh, some of the base paints on but none of them were completely painted but none of them were completely bare so um, kind of rewarding uh, you know just over slowly over time uh, find, finding them uh, mostly on eBay again and getting them collected cleaned up gathered up and then uh, you know, and brought kind of back to life. So that was that was a rewarding part of the of this particular unit too. Again, I did them in the yellow and green, which is the heraldry of the the duke that will be um, commanding the army. So I kind of wanted to stick with that to get some continuity um, throughout the army. Otherwise, I think sometimes Bretonians get to where they look a little bit. Um, you know, if you just throw every color. Uh, in the box at them, they get uh, a little busy looking sometimes. So, so I'm trying to sort of stick to a palette. Um, if I do add some, well, I am planning to add some more infantry to my army, and what I will use other uh, colors for them because they will represent just some small units that you know that belong to you know a specific knight that's in the army. So they will have his colors. Um, you know, so but I wanted a bulk of them to be the um, of the Duke's army and um, and to have his heraldry and his colors. Uh, so that's kind of what I went with. Um, I painted these again. This is fifth edition uh, Warhammer Bretonian, where they were a little bit uh, more idealized, more Arthurian. Um, a peasant could rise up and become a, a knight and as opposed to the 6th edition where it was much more grim dark and the, the new sculpts that released in the 6th edition were um, you know the peasants looked like a bunch of kind of rabble and um, I, I like this particular um, you know presentation of the Bretonians in the 5th edition a lot more personally so um, so I, uh, I you know I painted them kind of you know a lot Maybe, you know, a lot brighter or fancier or however you want to say it than what they, a lot of the people have done, especially with 6th edition. But that was just my personal thing that I wanted to do. So, um, again, I'll just do kind of a quick spin around. I was particularly happy with how the, um, how the commander in the front came out with his eyes and, and his mouth and skin, I think, came out pretty well. Um, standard bearer, pretty good, too. Again, paper standards that I made. Uh, did by hand and um, glued onto the pole. Uh, did do the eyes on all of these. Um, tried to mix up the colors of their padded jackets just a little bit. Some are a little bit darker, some are just a little bit lighter. Um, different colors on the scabbards. Uh, and then on their shields, uh, went with the same color scheme, of course. And then the um, yellow fleur de lis. Getting pretty proficient at painting those, and then I wanted them a little bit more interesting, so I put the crenellations up on the top there, which then I carried on through the banner also to kind of tie that together. 
Um, I guess I kind of envision this unit being um, part of the Duke's uh, castle guard, so they'd maybe be a little bit more elite type troops. I know the statistic or the um, yeah the uh, stats on the on the men at arms in uh, uh, Warhammer Fantasy doesn't have them being you know crazy crazy good quality troops, but um, but in my mind they are. <laughs> so um, again, made the made the tray um, by hand. Um, they're all magnetized so that uh, can transport them around, and then did put magnets recessed on the bottom of the tray too, so that uh, when I do want to transport them, I can just put them on a you know a metal cookie sheet or or tray or something like that, and allow them to be transported uh, without moving around too much. Again, there's the uh, banner, the um, <clears throat> excuse me, the the unicorn actually. Um, is an image that I've gotten off of the internet that I'm using that particular same black line image through all of the banners so that it is identical. Um, the fleur de lis and the, and the cross in the center and the crenellations I did hand do, but uh, I do uh, I just paint or uh, print it in grayscale with that uh, with the unicorn in the center, and then um, I do have a fine black pen that I do go around to just kind of uh, bolden the lines a little bit. And then uh, that's all I do with the unicorn part. So, you know, um, so I'm pretty pretty happy with how they turned out. Let's see if we can get a closer look at any of these other guys here. Happy with how he came out too. Um, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite poses. That's, that's, I just like the look of him. I think that's neat. Now, I try to make each one individual. There shouldn't be any two that are exactly alike, whether they have the green leggings or the, um, you know, or the yellow hood, or so that uh, I don't think there's any two that are exactly alike. So, but uh, between uh, keeping a limited color palette and um, um, and a limited, uh, um, yeah, a limited color palette and uh, to kind of keep it unified. So, okay, well, guys, thanks for looking. Um, Really enjoyed these. I've got just a handful of uh, mounted troops to paint up, and and I'll have uh, over two thousand points. So yeah, twenty some years later, I'm actually going to have a Bretonian army. Pretty excited about that. So, okay, thanks for watching, guys, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care of yourselves and each other.